Good morning to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting and today we have a record that actually arrived today when I bought on eBay amazingly and here it is, let's see if you can read that you might not be able to anyway it says um, flying lesson for Empire Air Day recorded in 1938, I believe this to be a broadcast so we'll put it on and see what we can do. There we go, if we can get the rest of the thing on there, there we go. Right, let's see what it says. Don't do this at home, viewers. We took one of our colleagues along to an ordinary civil aerotrain, Red Hill, and there we recorded him satisfying his curiosity about aeroplanes and aviation. We introduced him to the instructor, Mr. Brown. How do you do? How do you do? Um, I hope you won't mind if I ask apparently rather silly questions. Actually, I know nothing at all about flying. Well, now's the time to start. So let's go over and have a look at this machine. Here you see an ordinary club gypsy moth biplane, which we use for instruction. There's a cockpit in the front for the instructor and one behind for the pupil. Shall I, shall I get in? Yes, do, but my doubt. Oh. So put your back foot on there. Yes. And step over, climb over oh, yes. the, onto the seat. That's right. Oh. Now put your feet out and you'll see the rudder bar there, you see? Yes. You got it? Yes, yes, I found that. Good. Now, if you look behind, you'll find the rudder sticking out, behind the tailplane. That's where, where the rudder bar you've got your feet on. If you put your right foot forward, it turns the rudder to the right. And that turns the whole machine? That's right. But remember, it does a flat turn. The wind hits the rudder and it twists you around. Like on a boat? That's right. When an aeroplane turns, it should do a correctly banked turn. In other words, you should lean inward. Have you ever ridden a bicycle? Yes, I've ridden a bicycle. Well, if you're going fast at the corner, as you know, you've got to lean inwards. The same applies to an aeroplane. If you turn on the rudder alone, you'd skid outwards. And what, what, how do you stop it, then? Well, you use the control, uh, control column. There's the stick coming up to, to the floor there. <laughs> I wonder if that was a gear lever or something. Oh, no, it's simpler than that. Hmm. Grab hold of it and wobble it to the left and right. Yes. Now, you see those two flaps on the bottom wing going up and down? Oh, yes. Now, they yes. put on the bank for you. Stick to the right, and you bank across to the right, across to the left, and you bank to the left. To turn to the right, then, I push the rubber bar with my right foot to get the turn, put the stick over to the right to get the bank. That's the idea. Only don't use too much rudder. Oh, Just well, a little bit of rudder and a fair amount of bank. Oh, more with the stick than the rudder, in fact. And about going up and down? Well, you do that with the stick also. Put it back, and you go up. Push it forward, and you go down. What else is there, then? Well, there's an engine, of course. Oh, <laughs> I'd forgotten that. Yes, and uh, where's the accelerator? There it is, the lever by your left oh. hand. Oh, yeah. uh, move it forward to open it and back to close the throttle. Those are all the main controls. It's knowing how to use them that matters, remember? And of course there are lots of complications and finer points that we can't go into now. All the same, you've got the main idea. Now, would you like to have a shot? Well, all by ourselves. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, I think I'll come up with you and we'll just uh, see how you get on first. Oh, and then if I start doing things wrong, I, you can put them right. Uh, well, I hope so, yes. <laughs> so I've got a set of controls in the front, you see, and any mistakes you make, I can correct them. Yes. Right, so shall we put on uh, helmets and earphones and have a shot? All right, that's Good. fine, yes. Contact! Contact! Still contact, still on. Right, you ready? Oh, off we go. After a quarter of an hour's lesson, they came down again, taxied up to the microphone, and stopped. Well, how'd you enjoy it? Oh, I really a great deal. I got a bit upset by the air pockets, you call them? Oh, no bumps, no actually. Bumps. Well, I got a bit upset by that, because oh, when we got into one of those, those, and we went down, I thought yes. that must be my fault, so I pulled the stick back, to correct it, and then it seemed to go up extremely sharply. Yes, of course, if you overcorrect, it will, but yes. I should just, don't worry about it, just look on into oh. the normal thing. And then on the turns, I had no idea the wings went down so much, I thought the whole thing would just... I expect you uh, thought it was more than it actually was, you know. Yes, I, <laughs> I hope it was, anyway. Remember, you can overbank, that does no harm at all, oh. but uh, don't make them flat. Well, there we go, viewers. That bloke sounded absolutely terrified, didn't he? I believe that to be an actual radio broadcast from the 1930, no, 1938. 
you know, I, I don't think I'd care to do something like that, you know. I've walked to the top of the Bridgewater Monument up at Ashridge, and that's as high as I'm going. Anyway, thank you, viewers. Goodbye.